Michael Penix to the Atlanta Falcons, bro. Listen, I knew Michael Penix was going to fall into the first round. He's obviously first round talent. He could fucking do it all. People were kinda, they were saying like in the twenties though. Yeah, they were kind of Daniel Jeremiah had him going at thirteen. And he okay. was like, people were coming at me for having him that high up on the draft. Well, look where he fucking went at eight. Um, he must have knew something. Atlanta does it again, folks. Atlanta Falcons, they do it again. Remember I, when you I haven't thought, taken I, Bowers? This I, is like close. <laughs> I thought they were going to learn their lesson, bro. <laughs> at that point, I think they were better. Like, maybe Bowers wasn't even that crazy of a pick for them. Bowers might have been a better pick for them. They should have done it. Bro, they should have took Romo Dunze if you're going to take offense. Maybe the guy that you just paid 130 listen, mil at quarterback for the next four years. Listen, I don't mind them taking Michael Penix Jr. It has nothing to do with him, bro. The problem here, okay, so if if your guy was Michael Penix Jr. this whole time, why did you go get Kirk Cousins? Why did you pay Kirk Cousins 180 180 million dollars? 130 guaranteed. They said one of them's got to work out. You imagine like, if they both don't work out. So they had a press conference, which was awkward as fuck. The GM and the head coach, uh, Raheem Morris, and I forget the GM's name. Michael Lombardi says the Super Bowl winning GM. Um, Damn. As a tease, bro, because he's Uh-oh. he turned down Bill Belichick. They put a press release out that uh, they didn't want to trade for Lamar Jackson. Or they sign him. start Desmond Ritter. Yeah. Um, what a guy. They were saying that. They wanted to follow the Green Bay model, okay? As Daniel Jeremiah likes Smart. to say, <laughs> as Daniel Jeremiah likes to say, this is apples to oranges, bro. The Green Bay Packers at that time were coming off an NFC Championship loss. Um, they've had Aaron Rodgers. They've for like had 12 Aaron Rodgers for twelve years at that point. <laughs> Brett Favre too. The camaraderie yeah. was with that team. They're in a whole different position than the fucking Atlanta. What is the Atlanta Falcons? They haven't won. They haven't even been to a playoff game since they lost the twenty-eight to three lead in the Super Bowl, bro. Ooh. Why take Why game. take a luxury pick? You, you you have no luxury to begin with. <laughs> Maybe they do. Two quarterback confidence. System. Two quarterback system. Something. <laughs> fucking beats me, bro. Like I feel so bad for Michael Penix because it's like, obviously he's older. Compared to a lot of draft, which I think we're going to be seeing a lot that a lot of that more often with the NIL. These next couple of years with the NIL deals. Yeah, um, he's ready to go play now, bro. Like if if like even with the Denver Broncos, they got Bo Nix, who is more experienced, probably one of the most experienced college quarterbacks of all time. Better numbers go to show with the amount of games he started. Like, there's no question he's going out there to play now. You're the Atlanta. You you got Kirk Cousins, bro. Why, like, Could Michael Lombardi change. was on his the GM's ass because it's like, yeah, he we met with him at the combine, went great. We had a private workout. It's like you should have been doing your work on this guy like a year ago. It would have been a great pick if Cousins wasn't there, though. Oh no, no doubt. That's what yeah, I'm saying. She's not there. Then it's lit. Yeah. But the fact that he's there just throws Ooh. everything off. It's a big curveball. So now let's say Kirk Cousins has Kirk, has a bad it, couple games, bro. Do you see he? They asked him about it too, or his agent or something. It was right uh, after the pick, I Kirk, think. Yeah. Was yeah. Oh, when they were on the clock, they were about to turn a card and they hit up uh, Kirk. Cousins. Yeah, we're actually about to go pick uh, Michael Penix. <laughs> he said, I knew we were going to pick a, a quarterback eventually to take my spot, but I didn't know it was going to be the first <laughs> chance he got. <laughs> <laughs> it's insane, bro. Yeah, we're going to follow the Green Bay model. So Kirk Cousins next year. Kirk Cousins probably don't even know the passcode to get into the fucking facility yet. <laughs> my flight ain't even land yet in Atlanta. <laughs> Jeez, wings. <laughs> yeah, bro, I, I really don't get it. Like, if I'm Kirk Cousins, I'm fucking heated. But you know, Kirk, he's going to be professional. He said, yeah, I can't wait to work with Michael or whatever. But, like, if Michael Penix was, like, not ready to go play right now, okay, maybe whatever. That's a, that's a different story. Even though it's they still probably shouldn't take a quarterback there. Yeah. But if you know you're taking Michael Penix, bro, trade back. Get some more picks. Something. Well, you know what? If they did trade back and it was behind the Raiders and they got him, They'd be so upset because if that was their guy. Yeah, if they traded back, yeah. But, like, uh, I don't know. I just think the pick is so bad because, like, you have a team and a quarterback to win now. Okay? Try to build around that at least, yeah. And you got an elite prospect wide receiver right there. 
Like you don't even need offense because you got London and you got Pitts and you got Bijan, but you got at least two receivers. You could even like you could add in Odunze. He's gonna be good. Or maybe a hop out of defense that has absolutely nobody. A defensive end would have been nice. <laughs> I don't have guy. the stats in front of me. My laptop is still over there, but like they're bottom tier in almost every defensive stat there is, bro. <laughs> They can't get to the fucking quarterback. Last oh. year, they skipped out on Jalen Carter to get B. John Robinson. Right? Don't hate it, though. They've no, had the eighth overall one. pick for the past three years. Even though they had uh, – last year, they had what's a, the other running back ran for over 1,000 yards his rookie year, and then they drafted <laughs> another one. Yeah, who okay. cares? <laughs> yeah, no, they did do that. Yeah. Tyler Algier, what do you – he, 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 like he averaged – He averaged, like, what, seven to carry or some shit? Like, crazy. And that was the backup, too. Yeah, no, this – uh. He was like top five in rushing yards a year, his rookie year, and then they drafted Bijan to take a spot. Oh, they got a uh, Jesse Bates. That's it. That's all I got. On defense. He don't even. I don't even. Know, is he still there? Their coach yeah. is a defensive guy, though, isn't he? Yeah, that's why I also thought that's like they I'm would saying. go. Defense. So maybe he turns it all around with the guys they got. He's like, I like what we got here. I don't even think that. <laughs> Bro, in the second round, players. in the second round, they had a chance to draft Johnny Newton, who fucking slipped. Okay. That boy Johnny. That boy ATO. Who did take? They take Rook Okorko or whatever how you however you say his name. Or Rukako. Defensive tackle Okoro. out of Clemson. Huh. Same position. He's maybe like a, they know something. Like I don't maybe probably not the way things have been going. <laughs> the way things have been going, it don't the look overall like they know consensus, something. bro, around get lucky. <laughs> the overall consensus around the league and shit, like on Twitter from the fans. Thirty one teams are happy with their draft and what their teams are doing. The one team that is not happy is the Atlanta Falcon fans, bro. They're the only ones that aren't optimistic after this draft. It's fucking crazy. I don't think that Rook pick was that bad. No. But, like, just everything else. But when Johnny like, Newton is sitting there, bro. Yeah, but, like, maybe maybe he will be better in, like, five, ten years. Maybe, but you can't bank on that shit now. Maybe he fits their system better. You're paying $180 million to Kirk Cousins. Michael Penix is. You know how much they could have done with 180 million dollars? They could have got like five different players, at least. Defensive players, all of them. <laughs> offensive <laughs> line, something. Yeah. I saw uh, Dan Orlowski was on board with it. Of course he was. He said, "You know, this is a great idea." You Michael know? Lombardi is ripping him apart too. Old Who Orlowski? Because he was like, he said, "Uh, you know, we're gonna have Kirk Cousins. They're thinking they're gonna win their division, and then Kirk Cousins is gonna get older, and you're never gonna be in this top ten pick again." Which I don't know about that. The Atlanta, they could definitely be up there. Uh, Are they gonna be one? And if you got a chance to take your QB two, maybe that you were thinking uh, for the whole draft, it's gonna cost you three first round picks in one a different year. So now you just get them for the one. I was like, yeah, bro. And now you're wasting his whole rookie contract while sitting behind Kirk Cousins. Literally, Kirk said he's got like three years left in him. Three three years are like locked in. Like you were paying Kirk Cousins. This is gonna be like Russell Wilson money. Like Literally, like before his injury last year, the dude was on pace for MVP. Like number he's putting. Yeah, up his numbers number. were nuts last year before he hurt his like he's trying to win a Super Bowl. Yeah, they ain't happening. I don't think it's gonna happen. But like look at what the Texans are doing with their rookie deal. They're get they just went and yeah, we'll just get pay digs this year, whatever. Cause you got a quarterback yeah, get that's it really good yeah. for the real cheap, you could pay other guys. Instead, they got a quarterback that's really expensive and a quarterback that's cheap. And then once the, the other quarterback's gone, they're going to have to pay Penix in like two years. And they could be put in like a weird situation like Tua, where like Tua was on and off, getting hurt, blah, blah, blah. And then he's played like one good year. And now like after next year or something, you got to wonder if you want to pay him or not. You're only going to get like a couple years out of Penix and then you got to pay him or not. This makes it harder to decide. Maybe that uh fifth year extension had a play in it. Maybe, but like you're still, I don't know. Still got to pay him at some point, but yeah. Let's say Michael Penix just pop, pop. yo. Let's just say he lights up practice, bro, and looks makes Kirk Cousins look like dog shit. Yeah, people. They are, have no choice but the, or if I they mean, start what, like two and four. They, that too. What are they gonna do? And since Kirk Cousins has no t- like Aaron Rodgers had ties with Green Bay, like he had a connection with their fans and shit. After the 12 year or however long he stayed there for. Kirk Cousins got no loyalty to those fans. The we fans don't give a fuck. He just showed up. Yeah. If he plays good, they're going to love him. If he plays like ass, they're going to hate him. He ain't got no and they know they got a like fucking that. stud like Michael Penix sitting on the bench. They're going to be calling for his name. They they just fucked themselves. <sighs> they're fucked. Unless Michael Penix goes in there and says, oh, fucked. lights that bitch up. 
Or if he's just do. Kind of hope he does. You imagine? Yeah. So I don't know, bro. They they said the, it feels like they're never gonna learn their their lessons, bro. And I feel like the, out of out of all those scenarios, they this is the. This is the tip of the iceberg, bro. They this is the biggest one they've uh, sort of fucked up. I if mean, we'll see how it plays out. But. If they're right about Penix, though, and he's nasty, oh, I mean, it's not a problem. But they're still 180 million dollars in the hole. Yeah, that would just suck. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that part sucks. They said, you know what? Fuck the money. But it's like I don't know what the like. If you're the you're the GM, bro. How don't you know that Michael Penix is your guy early on if you're doing the homework on him? Yeah, it's not like he just. Be, it's, it's not like he just came out of the woodworks and was a dog. Oh, Rome. fucking beast me! But yeah, we like Michael Penix. Uh, Maybe too much. Author Blank, can you? You got ninety million to guarantee? Yeah, throw it at Kirk, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we still gonna take Michael, but get Kirk. Get him in.